up another important issue we've been following. Uh, as everyone probably knows, we're big fans of transit here at Tri-County Sustainability. So uh, there is a pending New Jersey transit fare hike. So we do have Eric Benson from New Jersey Policy Perspective here, and he's going to tell us about efforts to expand funding for essential services, especially for communities that have historically been left behind and how we can help. Hello, Eric. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for having me tonight. Uh, no stranger to this meeting and what an incredible group of folks we have here. Uh, I've loved seeing uh, the Oprah um, team in action. So thanks for everyone to take an action and Sarah speaking on that tonight. My name is Eric Benson, longtime environmentalist, 20 years working with Clean Water Action. I'm also experienced, uh, retired Essex County Environmental Commissioner for over 10 years. And now I'm a tax and budget policy advocate working with a statewide coalition called For the Many New Jersey. And it's a broad based group of housing, environmental, labor, social justice, uh, and, um, and more advocates working together to make sure our state has the revenue to invest in critical infrastructure and community support programs. I'm also a dad with two little kids who participate in our weekly town's bike bus movement. And they also love seeing and riding on NJ Transit. So uh, this month of June, it's a wild ride ahead as the New Jersey legislature and governor race towards a constitutional deadline of passing a balanced budget by June 30th. And I see the state budget as a moral document. How you raise and how you spend what's projected to be about $55, and, you know, billion, $55 billion, they do that annually. But how you do that is a reflection of our state's moral values. And what we're doing is uh, problem number one. On December 31st, the governor and the legislature allowed the corporate business tax surcharge to expire. And that was an annual tax cut of, of over $1 billion to wealthy corporations that earned over a million dollars in profits while operating in New Jersey. And that decision has far reaching implications on our communities as it drains our, our, our state, our towns of the resources that we need to fund schools, roads, and municipal services in our towns. Problem number two, without stable funding and a fin, uh, with the fin federal pandemic aid about to expire, New Jersey Transit is facing roughly $800 million budget deficit. And that's even after the agency approved 15% fare hikes earlier this year. $800 million gets New Jersey Transit back to status quo, which currently is an agency, it's not winning hearts and minds of riders for current service. It's not equally accessible in all parts of the state, it has a beautiful sustainability plan and not enough money to implement it. So in light of these developments, I'm looking for your help and, um, and support. We're urging Governor Murphy and state legislators to reinstate a tax for wealthy corporations and dedicate that revenue to New Jersey Transit. A well-funded and better operating mass transit system can be a lifeline for low-income households, a catalyst for growing our towns and downtowns, and of course, a crucial ally in the fight against climate change. So to kill two birds with one stone, metaphorically only, I am pro-bird, Governor Murphy proposed earlier this year um, something called the corporate transit fee. It's a solid first step. It targets 600 corporations um, that file tax in New Jersey with profits that exceed $10 million. And it's projected to generate about $1 billion in revenue annually. And then the governor earmarks that for New Jersey Transit. The governor's proposal, it asked the world's biggest corporations to pay for infrastructure that helped them generate the record-breaking profits. And in light of the 15% regressive fare hikes that riders are facing on July 1st, it's only fair that wealthy corporations are paying what they owe in order to keep New Jerseyans moving. moving. So I got a lot that you can do. I'm gonna copy and paste some of these um, links into the chat here. But of course, contacting your local legislators in support of taxing wealthy corporations in order to help fund New Jersey transit. Um, that's on an individual basis. Your letter goes to the governor, your local legislators, and key budget deciders like the members on the budget committee. Uh, Senator Paul Sarlo is chair 
of the Senate Budget and Appropriations, Assemblywoman Pinta Marin. They're not yours, but they are very, they are very much have a seat at the table deciding this before the end of June. Uh, you can also ask your mayor. We have a sign-on letter from mayors. I know that environmental commissions and you know, green teams are close allies with your local township and officials and getting mayors to sign on to our letter often represent not just your individual voice, but five, 10, 15, 20, you know, 30, 40,000 members of your community. Um, the mayor sign on letter, it's a template. You can copy, paste it and send it off to your mayor. It's got a copy of the, a link to the letter for mayors to sign on. Um, we also just in general, because we are moving fast and quick here, I promise. Uh, I have a volunteer form. If you, if because we're short on time tonight, there's a long-term effort to make sure wealthy corporations um, hold them accountable, make sure that our state has the needs, whether it be for affordable housing. Uh, I think about the environment, the rising floodwaters, um, the infrastructure that we need for green energy. There's no shortage of needs on the environment alone. And so there's a short and long-term co uh, campaign that's the for the many that I'm working with. And you can put your contact information in there and I'll follow up with it one-on-one. -on -one. What would you like to do now? And would you like to be part of the bigger time picture? Um, June 13th, we're hosting a date from one end of the Northeast corridor to another, uh, rallying with mayors uh, on in Newark uh, with advocates in the state house in Trenton. So 9.30 a.m. on June 13th, from one end of the Northeast quarter to another. If you're available and like to show up at either, we'd love to have you. And then um, my last little pitch here is um, the New Jersey Policy Perspective team has been incredible and amazing. I work with um, folks that are other familiar to you. Alex Ambrose is our corporate, is our um, climate and transportation policy analyst. Peter Chen is my all things numbers budget cruncher. And, um, and we do have a, a, an award winning uh, communications team as well. So you can like and follow them on there.